array and list, right? So okay, so <clears throat> you have to use same data type, right? So we saw that you can mix and match, and this one supports different uh, data types different data types uh, you must import the array module no import required it's baked into the language. Uh, let me see where they all... Okay, yeah, so smaller list, right? Even though it's an array, but it supports list, and this is good for like large uh, list, according to this. But arrays are faster, and this ones are slower, right? So if you're using different data types, then they need to be stored in memory differently than arrays, right? So that's why it would be small, uh, f slower to process. Arrays, like from start to finish, say both of them have like a thousand elements, the arrays would loop would finish a lot faster than the list loop. That's what they're saying here. Okay, this one. Uh, easy, uh, what do they say here? Easy uh, inserts and deletes. And this one are less flexible. Like, uh, I mean, you can do them, but they're not as less flexible for updates, inserts, and deletes. Who asked about the nested arrays? I think I think they are supported. I've never experienced with them, but apparently the arrays uh, nested list can be a variable size. Nested arrays have to be of same size. Okay, so sorry. Uh, let me. This is backwards. list arrays except for this one <coughs> let me see here oh actually I do have them correct sorry my bad uh, go here arrays list this one's so over backwards so let me uh let me try that again okay go over here Enlarge list, right? So smaller list. Uh, easy enter uh, delete operations. 
uh, load system resources, whatever. Okay, I'm not sure why that pops up once in a while. Uh, support this one supports uh, not I guess not easy right uh, inserts and deletes and the more I type the worse my handwriting gets smaller memory usage and this one has a large uh, memory footprint I mean it makes sense right because remember like if you're using data types you might be like storing lists you might be storing strings you might be storing integers so all that like takes more memory so that's why it makes sense that that one would take up more memory than arrays, right? If you're storing just signatures, that's four bytes, four bytes. In the list, if you're storing strings, lists, uh, another list, so then that could use a lot of memory. So that's. And this one uh, has built in built-in uh, functions for and I'll put some examples here sorting indexing and if you want to do that with the array then you have to import other modules that help you do that so maybe this one's a little more complex to use right it's like the legacy type of list okay so let me go ahead and create an example with 